Hello, hello, y'all. So I am currently in LA. So I'm currently in LA on a little vacation. I just needed some time to get away. Um, so I thought I'd vlog, but most importantly, I thought I'd give you guys three tips on how you can grow on YouTube 2018. Stay tuned. guys like my view <laughs> yeah it's not much uh, I believe if you go further out that way uh, you'll hit Universal Studios as uh, advertised by the hotel so this is actually the first suite I've ever been in a uh, suite yeah I'll let you be the judge of it yeah I have my bed over here and then uh, you have the little sitting area um, I really like that chair I wish I can have it and then, oh, check out my huge ass uh, fridge over here. Like, wow. Then you have a microwave, um, ice bucket. I have a closet over here. And then this is the bathroom. I think what I really enjoy about this bathroom, this mirror is um, actually pretty cool too, um, is the shower. And instead of the shower head, well, you get an extra shower head right here, like, you know, the ones that you grab and then you, like, uh, bathe yourself with it. Instead of the main shower head being on the wall, it actually comes from the ceiling, which I actually really enjoyed. And the way you turn this on is you have to pull both of these uh, things out. And uh, what's cool is this controls the pressure and this controls the temperature. Yeah, really fancy shower. So, you did tips. Tip number one. Find your niche. Pick something specific for your brand. One key thing not to do is to try to grow as a personality. For instance, don't post challenges and then vlogs and then all of a sudden gaming. My recommendation is once you find your niche, make a series and then another series and then another series and then another series around that niche. Within those series, you should have at least five videos. That's the minimum. And the reason why is because um, it takes three to five videos to get someone subscribed to your channel. Okay, I'm going to really try my best not to get my hair wet. My hair smells like dog. So tip number two for you guys, that is to experiment. It's good to experiment with different videos. And in some cases, um, the niche doesn't, you don't really pick the niche, the niche actually picks you. If you make a video and it gets you more views and more subscribers more than any other one of your videos, you should make more videos like it so that you get more subscribers and more views. This term is called milking. Now, if the video is kind of far from your niche, it is totally up to you if you still want to go through with it. I know tons of YouTubers on YouTube that have uh, made different kinds of videos uh, 
that's like separate from their original niche, yet they got like millions of subscribers out of it. So right now we're in the middle of Hollywood and I'm here to meet a friend of mine. Hey, how's Hello. It going? Hello. Good to see you. Hi. Hi. Oh, nice dress. Oh, thank you. Damn, look at this view. <laughs> I know, right? It's great. Wow. I love it. That's I awesome. I song about it. I was like... Oh, really? This is just... Yeah, I was just like spreading about the view. I'm like, wow. It's, just, it's cool to see it from a different perspective. Okay, y'all. So this is Nicole. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, so final tip. Tip number three for YouTube. Hustling. So the word hustling to me means uh, being consistent and on top of your game. This is really um, important for YouTube because being consistent with your videos really helps. You're not gonna make it if you post once a month, even like once every two weeks, you know. Um, it's good to have a time and post it on your channel of how often you post. The reason why I have Nicole here is because she is a good representation of the of the term hustling. Um, this girl has balls. <laughs> she makes her living by performing on the streets of Hollywood Boulevard and uh, um, doing gigs um, several times a month. Yeah, exactly. And that's how she gets her money. What would you say, uh, what would be your definition of hustling? Doing anything you need to do to get where you feel your goals will be reached. So just mm -hmm. making sure you keep up with what you want. So it's not really about comparing and hustling the way like someone else is, but just staying true to what you need to do. So when I feel like it's time, I gotta work harder, then I'm like, okay, time to go, whether it's to Hollywood Boulevard, to play violin or do something else. Um, just keep moving forward and thinking creative, creatively. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she sings and she so. plays violin, so you guys should check her out. Thank you. <laughs> what would be your advice to um, young creators out there who want to become successful? Well, definitely to stick with it no matter what, because there are going to be times where it feels like you should definitely give up and everything is almost hopeless. You might have that thought, but it's not actually true. Um, there are just going to be ups and downs for everyone, even the most successful people. It just mm -hmm. depends yeah. on keeping a, a really good mindset and not giving up and doing it because you love it. It will be tough for you guys, especially starting out on YouTube because like you put out all these videos and no one's watching. But like I said, um, find your niche, keep experimenting and hustle. You know, those three things exactly. will help you. I get that one. That's nice.